the one arm. So yeah. So are you willing to leave Islam, my friend? Um. Well. Um. Okay. You no, know, don't don't leave Islam yet. Let us give you more chance. Let us say. Let us see if maybe there is something left is good in this religion. Give me something else. Give me an example. Forget about this. Oh, did you hear about the flying carpet as an example? In the Quran? The the flying carpet. Yeah, the same chapter speaking about. <laughs> you did not hear about Wait. the flying carpet? No, I've never heard of <laughs> such a thing. Can, can you show me where he says that? Okay. If we go in the Quran, it says that Allah, he gave his prophet, Sulaiman, the power to control of his flying carpet. So the flying carpet that he ordered, he ordered the. Uh, wait, is this from the? Wait, is this from the Quran or where? Oh, this is the Quran. This is the Quran. Chapter twenty-one, verse number eighty-one. Okay, let me chapter, write this down. Chapter eighty-one, chapter twenty-one, verse number eighty-one. And okay. I will show you the interpretation, so you will not say I'm making things up. You know, uh, did, did you hear about Ibn Kathir before? No. Nah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that much. I'm. I just do basically what I've been told and things. So okay. um, I'm not. I'm not really. Okay. Let us read the interpretation of the story. So you will not say I'm making things up. If we go in chapter twenty-one, verse number eighty-one. Here we go. This is the official government of the kingdom of Jordan. This is government website. <clears throat> okay. This is Tafsir Ad Jalalain. Ad Jalalain is a big, well known scholar in Islam, and he has explained the verse. And we disposed for Suleiman the wind to blow strongly. In other verse, it describes it as uh, uh, to blow softly okay in other words it's either blowing violently gently respectively according to what sort man wanted so it's up to him he ordered the wind making its way at his command to the land which he, we have blessed namely Syria and we have knowledge of all things let's show you more interpretation Okay. And also we made a command to the etc. Actually here it doesn't show really much. Let me show you Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir give more details. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. All of those are Islamic website, 100%. And by the way, Islamic translation is a fabricated translation, which means they never give a true, honest translation. So I always advise you not to trust what they say. Even though well, I've, heard about, I've heard about um, chapter 23, verse 56, where um, it says that um, Allah sends blessing or the, um, that sort of thing. Allah, he said what? Um, I, you know, you know um, Surah 33, verse 56? What about it? I've heard a debate about whether um, Allah prays or... Um, yeah, you know. we will go there, but let us, let, us, let us see here first. Let us finish this one. So to show you the flying carpet, because we mention it. I don't like to mention something without... Uh, read with me. Is the screen coming? Yeah, it is coming. Okay. And to Suleiman, we subjugated the wind strongly ragging, means we subjugated strong wind to Suleiman. Okay, now he said, he had a mate, or mat, sorry, made of wood in which would place all the equipment of his kingship, horses, camels, tents, and troops. Then he would command the wind to carry it. And he would go uh, 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 underneath it, and it would carry him aloft, shading him and protecting him from the heat, until he reached whenever he wanted to go of the land. All right. So. The business is for the carpet, isn't it? Sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't see the word carpet there. It says mat. mat. Do you see the mat? You see the mat? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, my mat. Yeah. So the wind go under the mat and carry it. And what he have in the mat? He have his equipment, his army. It's not a flying carpet like Alibaba, carry only one or two, you know, or something bad. It carry the whole kingdom. His, his, actually, in the, in the Arabic, it says the carpet can fit for 600,000 chairs, plus all the tents, plus all the soldiers, 
plus all the camels plus all the horses plus all the food plus all the animals all are flying in one mat and they fly from the, in a distance of one month in each blow but wait where would you get these um interpretations from this is a Kathir, my friend i can send you a link if you wish um yes please i will i will i will give it to you in skype later when we finish you can click on it and you can read and again, and again, by the way, the English translation is full of lies. You want to laugh more? Read the Arabic one. The Arabic one is more hilarious. In English, they try always to cover the madness and stupidity, you know? And in the same, here we go, it says, it's morning was a month journey, and it's afternoon was a month, which means journey. And not only that, Suleiman, Allah, he gave him the power of, uh, of uh, uh, to control shayateen. And what the shayateen they do? They dive for him to bring him rubies, to bring him diamonds from the ocean. I mean, this guy, he is in control of everything. You know, he don't, uh, this is why he was very rich. And then it says, and also of shaitan, every kind of builder. Here we go. He have a, a sh shaitan who is engineer in building. And they built for him synagogue. And not only that, they built for him statues and icons and palaces. Shaitan, he don't hire a construction, a construction company. He have the shaitan himself building for him. Shaitan and his family, all of them, they work for him. You know? And then the one who disobey him, uh, or he don't he don't have work, uh, Suleiman, he he put chains on them. You know, he he chained them. But what about... Okay, so you can say, wait, that in fact, Muhammad was, wasn't actually illiterate and the miracles, for example, the miracle, um, the uh, fingerprints and um, splitting the moon and so on, so forth. So it's a lie, my friend.